Hi, this tutorial is exclusively for finding the GCD of two numbers. GCD stands for Greatest Common Divisor. So I am pleased to explain GCD in a simplified manner using Euclidean technique. Before we go to the Euclidean algorithm, we shall first find out how to calculate the GCD of given two numbers in a simplified manner. So GCD stands for Greatest Common Divisor. Greatest Common Divisor. For example, let us take GCD of 2, 8. A simple example. How to calculate the GCD of 2, 8? We first, we will list out the divisors of 2. The divisors of 2 are 1 and 2. The divisors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8. So, as per the concept, we have just listed out all the divisors. Right? So, we have just listed out all the divisors. So, the divisors of 2 are 1 and 2. The divisors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Now, we will find out the common divisors. 1 and 2 is common here. 1 and 2 is common here. So, now we have found out the common divisors as well. Now, we will find out the greatest common divisor. Now, out of 1 and 2, which is the greatest number? Obviously, 2 is the greatest number. So, here GCD of 2, 8 is equal to 2. GCD of 10, 150. Okay. Now, we will find out the greatest common divisors. Greatest common divisor of 10 and 150. Okay. Now, we will list out the divisors of 10, 1, 2, 5, 10. For 150, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, not 20, 25, 50, 75 and 150. So we have lots of devices for 120. Now we will list out all the common devices. 1 is common here, 2 is common here, 5 is common here and 10 is common here. Okay. Now we have listed out all the common devices also. 1, 2, 5 and 10, 1, 2, 5 and 10. Now what is the greatest common divisor? 10 is the greatest common divisor. So the GCD of 10, uh, 150 is equal to 10. Okay. If the number is a small number, it is easy to calculate the greatest common divisor. What if, if the number is a big number, say for example, GCD of 2, 3, 4, 8, 5, 6, 8, 5, 2, 1. Okay. So, we need some shortcuts in order to solve this technique. And the shortcut is Euclid's algorithm. This Euclid's algorithm is for calculating the GCD of given two numbers. I will just give the formula. So, GCD of two numbers say A and B. So, GCD of two numbers A and B can be simplified as GCD of B, comma A mod B. Okay. So, if we are aware of this formula, it is very easy to calculate the GCD of given two numbers. So, in the previous example, we have calculated GCD of 10, comma 150 is equal to 10 right now we will see how this technique gives the result okay so let us take the same example the previous example in, in, the, in the previous in the previous session we have just illustrated how uh, mathematically we can work out now we will see how we can solve it using euclid's algorithm so as per euclid's technique so gcd of a comma b is equal to GCD of B comma A mod B. Only two conditions. Here let us take the number A which is greater than B. In case if A is a smaller number, just swap it and make the equation as GCD of A comma B. And stop the process till this part becomes 0. Okay. When this part becomes 0, then whatever you have in this part that is going to be the BC, GCD value. Okay. So, now we will take that example GCD of 10, 150. Okay. Now, I am going to apply Euclid's algorithm to solve this. Now, as I told you, let A be the biggest number. So, nothing. I am just going to swap these two things which is equal to GCD of 
150 comma 10 okay now this is a and this is b now how to calculate this gcd of a comma b first we have to calculate gcd of whatever it is in b just write that and what is a mod b what is a 150 mod b right so which is equal to gcd of 10 comma just divide 150 by b what is the value of b here it is 10 okay so just divide 150 by 10 10 how many times 150 15 times so i'm just taking 15 times 150 and the remainder is 0 we got the equation as GCD of 10 comma 0. As I already told you, this process have to be stopped when this part becomes 0, when the second parameter becomes 0. When the second parameter becomes 0, whatever you have as the first parameter, that is the GCD value, so which is equal to 10. So we got the result GCD of 150 comma 10 or GCD of 10 comma 150 is equal to 10. We will solve another example. So in this example, we are going to calculate the greatest common divisor of 1025 and 35. Now this is our A and this is our B. Right? So how to write as per Euclid which is equal to GCD of D comma which is 35 comma. What is the value of A? 1025 mod B 35 which is equal to GCD of 35 comma will divide 1025 by 35 will divide 1025 by 35 35 how many times 2 times 70 so the remainder is 28 then bring this 5 so 35 how many times let us try with 8 times to 8 right so 8 times 280 and the remainder is 5 okay so we get 5 here okay now this is gcd of a comma b now this is a this is b which is equal to gcd of b comma which is 5 comma a mod b which is 35 mod 5 which is equal to gcd of 5 comma what is 35 mod 5 so 35 when it is divided by 5, 5 7 are 35 and the remainder is 0. We, are, we know that this process have to be stopped when the second parameter becomes 0. So when the second parameter becomes 0, the first parameter is the GCD value which is equal to 5. So the GCD of 1025 comma 35 is equal to 5. Sometimes we will get 1 as the GCD. Okay. So in this example, 5 is the biggest number that can divide both 1025 and 35. Now we will take an example where A is equal to 11 and B is equal to 7. Okay. In this case, we know that 11 can be divided by 1 and 11 only. 7 can be divided by 1 and 7 now, 7 only because these two are prime numbers okay in this case 1 is the only number that can divide both 11 as well as 7 now we will check how Euclidean's algorithm works well in this case so we will just simplify as per Euclidean's algorithm gcd of a comma b can be written as gcd of b comma a mod b 11 mod b which is equal to gcd of 7 comma just divide 11 by 7 7 ones are 7 and the reminder is 4 yes okay now this is going to be a and this is going to be b which is equal to gcd of b comma 4 comma 7 mod 4 which is equal to a mod b so let us divide 7 by 4 4 ones are 4 and reminder is 3 so which is equal to gcd of 4 comma 
3. And this process has to be continued because we need the second parameter to be 0 in order to stop this process. So still I am going to do this. So this is a comma b which is this a and this is b. So b comma a mod b. And process continues gcd of 3 comma 4 divided by 3. 3 ones are 3 and the remainder is 1. Take this. Right. Again continue gcd of 1. So we are about to reach the solution. 3 mod 1. So just divide 3 by 1, 1 3s are 3 and the remainder is 0 which is equal to GCD of 1 comma 0. Now when the second parameter is 0, whatever it is in the first parameter that is the GCD. So GCD of 11 comma 7 is equal to 1. It means 1 is the only number that can divide both 11 and 7. Thank you.